ERCT is endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography. So what do we do in ERCT is to pass an endoscope that looks sideways. It's called a lateral viewing duodenoscope. So we get into the first part and second part of duodenum, and there we just see the papilla of bladder where the bile duct and the pancreatic ducts end. So by passing cannula inside the bile duct or the pancreatic duct, we can put in contrast, radiographic contrast, and then look under CM guidance. So we can radiographically can visualize the problems that happen in the common bile duct or the pancreatic duct. So all these problems not only can be diagnosed but also treated using ERCP. So what are the indications for ERCP? Some of the commonest indications are gallstone induced problems. Like if the gallstone slips into the common bile duct producing an obstruction, it causes obstructive jaundice and the gallstone in the common bile duct has to be released. So we do an endoscopic uh, you know, retrograde cholangiography there we put in contrast, demonstrate the stone, cut open the sphincter of the cholidocus and remove it using a balloon basket. Sometimes these calculi can be very big beyond the size of the uh, common bile duct. Uh, so it is like imagine a snake swallowing a frog. It's sim similar to that. So then what do we do? We have what is called spyglass cholangioscopy. So we pass a thin endoscope within this endoscope and that endoscope can get into the deep into the bile duct. We can go close to the stone and then pulverize it using the laser lithotripsy probe. So, not only for gallstones, a lot of other conditions, the ERCP helps. So, one of the examples is hilar cholangiocarcinoma, what we call as a clad skin tumor. This is a cancer of the bile ducts, which happens at the trijunction, where the left hepatic and right hepatic ducts meet the common hepatic duct. It can also happen anywhere in the common bile duct. So, this is called cholangiocarcinoma. So, and then we can have cancer happening at the ampulla of water, cancer can be there at the head end of the pancreas, all these can produce obstruction of the bile duct, all those can be released. Bile ducts can get blocked because of benign strictures, sometimes in the post-operative setting because of ischemia. They can also be faultily placed clips or sutures across the common bile duct which can also produce a problem. Cystic ducts or accessory duct of Lushka, you know, getting, uh, you know, blowing out can lead to bile leak postoperatively. All these conditions can be definitely tackled by ERCP route. Also, pancreatic duct can also be, you know, taken care of in uh, recurrent acute pancreatitis to treat uh, biliary microlithiasis, in tumors of the head end of pancreas, in chronic calcific pancreatitis where there is a lot of calcification. Also, in pancreas divism, where the minor papilla can be can, uh, cannulated and stented. So, surgery can be completely uh, circumvented and we have a fantastic team of surgeons to back us up. We have the team of anesthesiologists, intensivists, so we can take care of the patient round the clock. And also, what more is that we have the state-of-the-art equipment in the whole world, the top. So my friends, we also have uh, the uh, Chief Minister's Comprehensive Health uh, Insurance Scheme and a multiple lot of insurance schemes which can uh, help the patient to cover the costs. And all the more, we are always targeting at giving quality care at an affordable cost.